This is great. That is just great. I I choke on my own spit as soon as I start talking. Hello, how's everyone doing? <laughs> Hi, Tiberian. Hello, Tennis, and welcome, welcome to the stream. Um, hello, Cookies. Hi, Tiberian. Hi, Research. Hello, Setsuna and Selvinus, and hello, Tom. <laughs> hello, Scuff Snake Time. I can't even I can't even resort to that. I can't even resort. Maybe if I hadn't started the stream with uh, choking, maybe I could, but I can't. <laughs> As it stands, I cannot. Oh no! Hello, Red. How are you doing? Been a while. Been a while. Uh, how's your day been? Good. I finished uh, what I was doing yesterday. The reason I didn't want to stream yesterday was because I wanted to make absolutely sure that I could finish. The gift that I made for Evie, it's her birthday this week, she's doing a special birthday stream and uh, we were like in the Discord we were prompted to fill out a Google form if we wanted to send her a gift, so I was like, you know what, this is well organized, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do it the proper way instead of just posting it on Twitter and that means I have to like, you know, follow the deadlines, so I finished it. And I submitted it, and then I'm posting it on Twitter whenever the stream happens, so that you know that that it's not out there um, before the stream. But regardless, I finished it, and I'm happy about it. <laughs> and then nine, welcome, hello, hey, your hello time he was a bit. <laughs> I know. I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm glad I always join the stream when you say something funny out of context. What did I say? What the f What the freak did I say? That's amazing to hear. It's uh it's just it's nice to have finished it before the deadline instead of last minute because that is something very me. Finishing a drawing last minute is very very me. Hopefully not for long. Hopefully I am getting faster and faster as I go and as I draw more. Um, but, but it's very me. <laughs> so, we are doing character design again, which I haven't done in an age and a half. I don't, uh, I don't feel comfy. I don't feel, like, not comfy, but, uh, I don't feel... What's the word I'm looking for? You guys probably know the way I'm looking for better than I do. I don't feel confident. There we go. The, the word wasn't comfy. It was confident. I'm always a uh, finish during the last minute type of person as well. Yeah, I know that pain. I know that pain. Um, my head is a bit tilted, isn't it? Why? Why is it so tilted? Why is it so tilted? Give me a second. Give me just one second. Oh, I'm, I'm here, but I'll be right back. <laughs> Scuff! Scuffiness! Scuff scuff! Is this better? Is this better? Or is it gonna be worse? My head's still tilted. Whatever! Um, so! If you remembered, maybe you don't because it's been such a long time. We use a random generator for our character design streams. I proposed doing, uh, I made a poll, proposed doing it in a different way, just because I saw Yomi doing it, and it was so 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 fun when she did it. Um, so I wanted to try it. I was like, hmm, maybe I could try that as well. But I posted a poll, and we decided to just keep doing it the same way we always do. Hello! I cannot read your name. Um, if you can understand me, hello and welcome. I am very very sorry. I can't read Japanese. Uh, hello, Mari Takanashi. Welcome. Hello. How are you doing? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna guess that is Konnichiwa. I'm gonna guess that is Konnichiwa. Um, Konnichiwa, but I don't understand Japanese, unfortunately. Uh, more art streams? Indeed! 
we are going to do a character design, which means we're gonna grab one thing from the random things generator and one adjective from the random adjective generator and we are going to create a character based on that you guessed correctly? Yay! Um, more paintings for the art museum? Oh shush! I'm not that good. Come on, you guys, I'm not that good. I still have to improve my skills a lot. Um, I guess that because I recognize, I do recognize some of the symbols. I definitely recognize Chi and Wa. Therefore, you know. <laughs> By recognizing just those two, I could I could have an educated guess. All right, so these are not the lists that we're working with because I like generating a random list as soon as like on stream. So we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit. This one is the same thing. We're gonna hit it once. Bam. <laughs> okay, these are all pretty bad. Pretty bad. Teddies! Teddy, teddy bear is a cute idea. Teddy bear is a cute, cute idea. Um, teddy bear is cute. I could work with teddy bear. And I could work with soaps. I could work with soaps. Good evening, hello, Errols! How are you doing? Um, also, if anyone was so kind as to use DeepL to translate um, to this person, she is asking how you're doing! Oh, I'm doing great. I hope you are doing great. And I'm very sorry that I can't speak Japanese yet. I'm sorry. But thank you for stopping by. And I hope you have a great day. And if you stay, I hope you enjoy. Because we are going to be doing our best here. Hello, Ma. How are you doing? Um, I feel, I, I'm feeling teddy bear, but I also could go soap. Now, we do need an adjective as well. Gratis. I'm sorry, does that mean something in English or did it just throw a Spanish word to feel snazzy? What is going on? in English that I have no idea about because this means free in Spanish I don't think that's okay whatever you know what's really calling to me demonic teddy bear that is really really catching my eye uh, gratis in Italian means free yeah it means free in Spanish as well but I just don't understand what's the Spanish we're doing in that makes no sense. It means free in Polish. It means free everywhere, apparently. That's... That's amazing. But I'm a little bit shocked. Um... Uh, I would really like to understand what... It is a Latin word, I'm guessing. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. I'm doing well. I want to see the birth of this character. And I want to see it too. I'm curious. <laughs> All right. Uh, once again, I'm very sorry that I cannot understand that person. But sassy soup, soup. Where is soup? Soap, soap. Sassy soap. You're going for sassy soap. Okay. I would guess our our best bets are. Demonic teddy bear. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch back to our drawing software. I think our best bet so far are demonic. Let me just make that a little bit bigger. Demonic teddy bear. Because I mean, come on, that is just mwah. it's a it's a little bit more common, but it's just so fun or sassy. So, ah, all right. What, what are we feeling? What are we feeling? Well, it's not a common use in English. Gratis exists in English as well as the other Latin based languages. Is it? I didn't know. Um, I misspelled some. <laughs> she says, okay, 
Okay, um, I don't know how to read their name. It would be cool to at least be able to say their name. Uh, the money teddy bear, I am feeling that. Luna, hello, welcome! And Vagram, hello, welcome, or Vagram. Um... Alright, let's do a quick poll. Teddy bear, and hello, Snow! Snoop? Snow! What the freak? <laughs> I was thinking of soap. I was thinking of soap. That's... Alright. Which concept? We're going to have... Teddy bear or soap? We're gonna have out, like, maybe... Maybe a minute. Maybe one minute. Meanwhile... I'm going to open DPL, because even if this person is not here anymore, I want to know how to read their name. Because uh, it makes me feel bad if I, if I can't at least try that. If I can't at least try that, I think it would be nice to at least be able to say their name. What is that? No! DPL! This is clearly Japanese, and the... and... what? It's... I put... <sighs> I go to Zipel, I put the name in there, and in the text the language is English, and he tries to translate it to German. First of all, I don't know German. Second of all, that is clearly Japanese! What is wrong with you, Zipel? Ah! Alright. Hachiman! I don't know if I'm reading that correctly, but if it was there... Hachiman! Welcome. If it's not correctly, I'm very, very sorry. Hachiman Shrine, I'm getting from Deepel. Uh, that's what I'm getting. 50 <laughs> 50 coming? No! Stop it! <laughs> you better stop! You better stop! Okay, Hachiman is, is, is voting for Teddy Bear. What is this gratis thing in Indonesian? Gratis, gratis means free? Same in Spanish! We're all, we're all, we're all on the same page on that one. The money teddy bear sounds like the easy option. It does, but it also sounds more fun, in my opinion. Um, alright, we have 13 votes. 13 votes. Am I stopping it? Am I stopping it? One minute ago, I said we were gonna go for one minute. I think I'm ending the bowl. I'm ending the poll and we're going for the teddy bear, which makes me really excited. Um, because, look, if anything, I could do the sassy soap next time. Oh, I did it on the same layer. I'm a top. I'm a top. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's alright, it doesn't matter. So, for, the, for a teddy bear, it makes me want to go like potato person, right? Not not potato potato, but like definitely childlike. Because what says teddy bear more than a child, right? So actually, wait a second. We might have to go to soap because I don't. <laughs> Um, Inaba wants the teddy bear. I know, and we're going to go with teddy bear. But at the same time, I feel like maybe it is the easy way out because now that I think about it, remember how I told you guys last time we were doing a TV that um, one of the one of the reasons why sometimes I didn't finish previous drawings is because I get a bit too happy with um, seeing how the eyes just go by themselves. Like, I told you, I want to play around with eyes. Sometimes I just play around with the eyes and then I never end up finishing because I'm having too much fun playing with the eyes. And then, um, and then I showed, I told you guys that I could show you a drawing. Let me see if I can find it. Because I, I did promise that I was gonna show you guys this drawing, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? 
I ended up doing this, <laughs> which is kind of already a demonic teddy bear. I had I had the references. I was doing like uh, this is a doll maker side, and this is some of the TV's styles that I wanted to get inspiration from coloring wise. Um, but basically, I already did do a nightmarish teddy bear, kinda. I just never finished it because I was. Roll, roll, hello! How are you doing? I just never finished it because I was, um, like very, very busy playing with the ice. <laughs> I did so many different eyes. <laughs> Look at this, I have nine different ways of painting the eyes. As I went, I got a bit more uh, trigger happy with the little shines and little like dots around the eyes. So every, every single one I feel like has a little bit more detail than the one before. I was also like following tutorials on some of them. Some of them are what just I was just like doing whatever felt right. In some of them, I stopped having a, any amount of self-control when it comes to little shinies in the eye. Uh, I'm still impressed by Ellie's art. Thank you, Thomas Reed. Welcome, hello. Hi, how are you doing? How about flaming eyes for the new one? We're gonna do the new one. I wanted to show you this though. Um, but that means we have to go for a different concept. We have to go for a different concept, not for a different concept as far as doing the, the teddy bear, but a different concept as far as how we, how we execute it. How we execute the concept is gonna have to be different. So we're gonna we're gonna have to really really choose some other way of expressing the demonicness other than just having big ass paws. Alright, so one way could be Oh, I want to do the pull up just like on the other one. I want to do like a menacing pop, but it's it would be the exact same thing. These guys are pretty nice. Thank you. I'm fine. Found you in a YouTube search since I saw you were making art today. I am. We are drawing a demonic teddy bear as 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 decided by the gods of, of random word generation and also YouTube polling. Um. We are trying to decide on a very different concept from what you guys just saw on screen. <laughs> Empty eye sockets with Will of the Wisps irises. Ooh, that is that is a concept. That is really a concept. All right. So first of all, the other one was it didn't have teddy bear ears so at the very least we know that we have to do ears this character has to have little tiny ears and um we could do we could do sharp hair because sharp is threatening most of the time like very, very sharp, very flared out hair. That's an option. That's an option. Um, empty eye sockets. Empty eye sockets? Are we feeling empty eye sockets? What I'm really feeling is definitely the child framing. The framing of like a childlike body because nothing nothing says demonic more than children like scary children designs i legitimately like a horror movie or a horror game becomes 10 times worse when there's supernatural children involved 
Oh god, I hate I hate that with a passion. I hate that with everything I've got. So children, scary. <laughs> The worst part is I actually really love uh, children when they're being completely ridiculous with their imagination, like on a short hike. When that kid starts like playing with sandcastles and like having a freaking mayoral election and losing, that is that is what children give me. That's why children give me life. They'll play in ways that you cannot anticipate. The problem is when they they are playing. Exactly in the ways that make you think, oh, this is pretty freaking demonic. That's when I get freaking scared of children. All right, we have we have a, a framing. We have a head. We have a general shape of the hair that it could work. A child girl without a jaw. Could be. You're an aga, right? Yes, I am. I am. A naga slash lamia. Look at look at this. Ooh, ooh, ah, and that's my tail. But alas, might not be the best, the best stream to show it off. All right, should I start using different layers? Nah, nah, not yet. We're gonna we're gonna focus on that later. Why do we want the chest to be here? Here. That's kind of all right for the chest. She, if it's a childlike framing, we're not gonna have. We're gonna have a flat chest because you know, child framing. Um, but I still prefer doing the tank top method for figuring out the chest. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking real hard. My... the cogs are spinning. You can't see them? You can't see them? Maybe you can see the smoke coming out of my... of my ears. But, uh, I'm, I'm thinking how to make it very functionally distinct from the one that I just showed you. Because <laughs> that would be extreme cheating. If I just did the exact same thing, it would end up being, like, that I would consider just straight up cheating at the challenge. That's not that's not okay. That's not all right. But if we do quickly, if we do it quickly enough, okay. So my first idea was to do an oversized, like oversized bear paws with like a lot of claws, you know. But then I saw the drawing, <laughs> the other team that I just showed you, and jeez. Joshua, hello, welcome! Uh, you're going to have so much fun with fear? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You are gonna have fun with fear. I am going to suffer. Suffer a lot. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, we're not doing that, Paul, because... Oh, but you know what we could do? We could do the pair of paws on the bottom. We could do big, big bear paws over here. That would be functionally distinct from what I had on the going on on the other one. And who says that that bear paws in the feet are less scary, huh? No one. No, it's a false narrative. Bear paws with claws? They're scary no matter where they are. And I mean, I don't even have feet, so I can't even comprehend how much damage you could do with with feet that have claws. Actually, I can because I normally hunt for bird eggs uh, specifically for the challenge of going against the mother. And you know what? Uh, that is, that the, the challenge are scary. They're scary. Feet with claws? Very scary, very terrifying. Ellie is a winner in my eyes? How? Haven't much match Naga VTubers. There are a few on Twitch, uh, but I think they are all very, very lewd. Um, which is why I haven't I haven't approached anyone yet. Uh, not that I have any problems with lewd stuff. I've told you many times that like I am a I am a, I am a partly human creature. I do have 
I do have, you know, certain instincts and certain uh, needs and stuff, but that doesn't mean I want to make it part of my content. So I normally try to, like, you know, stay on my lane, on my say-so-ish lane. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Screw it. Haven't done anything with the day. Gonna draw along. You know what? That's a great idea. I love drawing when I'm watching drawing streams of other VTubers. It just impulses me to draw that much more. It just it just makes me want to draw so so hard, uh, and it makes me draw better. I feel like I feel like it flows differently, and I feel like it flows better when I do that. Um, all right, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling the legs. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Um, because I'm really feeling it. I also feel like it gives the, the silhouette kind of a really nice look. Like, I feel like it would, uh, I should have done a copy. Wait, let me just do a copy of that just in case we regret it and we want the legs back. But I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen because I'm I'm really feeling, I'm really feeling the bear the bear paws at the at the end of the body at the bottom at the bottom of the body. Really feeling it. Uh, you don't sound too convincing. What do you mean you don't sound too convincing? Too convincing? Co <laughs> you me. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Everyone. Remember what I was just saying literally a second ago about drawing with someone, watching some someone's art? I my brain just melted. Um, that's what I do with Yomi. <laughs> Every time her stream is on, I feel like I draw better. So it's such a it's such an honor to have you here, Yomi. <laughs> it is it is such an honor. Welcome, hello. Hello, hello, welcome. Um. Anyways, what the freak was I even saying? <laughs> what was I saying? I was saying I'm feeling the bear paws. I was saying if we can do some claws, uh, it gives it a nice, a nice bottom heavy silhouette. And it allows me to not do something like that with the arms. Maybe, maybe, and this is just like, maybe it's a little bit too literal, but if we want demonic teddy bear, it could literally just be a sweet teddy bear instead of a spooky one, only that it has like, it's like whatever child was building, a, that was visiting the Build-A-Bear facility, wanted both a bear and an imp. And uh, the people working there were like, well, how about you give your bear, like, you know, a demon tail and horns and stuff. And the child was like, yeah, and that's it. Like, that, 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 that could be a way of interpreting it. It could be, like, a very literal way, but it could be cute. Or it could not. I don't know if I'm feeling that. I don't know if I'm feeling that. We could have both interpretations after a bit. Ah, uh, glad to finally be able to visit. <laughs> I'm going full cursed. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try your idea, Retouch, of just like empty eye sockets with flame in it. Oh no, no, I can't. I can't because suddenly I'm like, suddenly I'm thinking like. I cannot, and I cannot forgive myself for this, but I also cannot avoid it. Sans Undertale? <laughs> you say fire eyes and like, it, it, fire eyes as a concept has been ruined for me. It has been ruined forever. It has been ruined forever. This, this is, this is, this is what my brain does with fire eyes. I'm very sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Hello, Nikomimi on the channel. Welcome. Miss your tail so much. Well, I just showed it a second ago. Wait, let me. Hiya! Ugh. 
tail. Tail. There we go. Um, I normally wait until the end of the stream, but you know what? I did that a second ago for someone else, so might as well. Might as well. Teddy bears are fluffy. All right. Now, one thing that uh, teddy bear tells me, like I'm, when I think of teddy bears, I think of my teddy bears from my like house that I still have somewhere in some closet stashed somewhere. And those, I had two very important teddy bears. One of them was naked. He was just a ball. It was a teddy bear that had like the body all super like ready to become a ball. It was very easy to like, you know, turn it into a little ball. And that's what I did constantly. I just pressed this a little bit and it was, and it became a ball. So that's not really giving me any inspiration for this. The other one had a little overall with a heart in the center and a big sun hat. That doesn't tell me demonic. So not very useful. I'm thinking we are not going to give her any like panty silhouettes because it's a child frame. Clothes? Yes, clothes. All right. But what is, what, is there any clothes that say, that inherently say demonic? A Steve Jobs Stilter neck? Is that demonic enough? <laughs> A Steve Jobs turtleneck? Can't think of anything more demonic than that. I jest, of course, but you know. It is. It is one of the one of the things that catches my catches my uh, my vibes. I guess I don't I guess I don't have a lot of experience with demonic interpretations that are not overly sexualized or I mean we can go Lolita, we can go like super childish, which is very much horror movie like. We can go ruffles as much as I hate drawing them, you know. We can go like super extra childish. We can. Um, we can go huge ribbons. I said huge ribbons. Like the contrast between innocence and demonic, blah, blah, blah. But demons are generally pretty naked. I know! But I don't want it to a sexualized design. Boom! Show sales. <laughs> now imagine being choked by that delicious looking tail. This is a say so stream! We can talk about that on the Discord. There's a not safe for work channel. I do have a not safe for work tag as well, but so far nobody has used it. Uh the problem with this that I'm having is that if I go fully child, I'm losing the demonic. So I need to strike some sort of contrast. Guess who is in class and watching the stream? I'm gonna guess you, Mark. Hello, welcome. Please pay attention to your class. <laughs> Please don't let me be the reason you fail at anything. Oh, thank God. I thought I had messed up the clothes and the body layers for a second there. And that was, that was scary. That was pretty scary. Um... Let's keep thinking about the clothes while I try to do something with the hands. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with the hands, because drawing hands is hard. 
But let's keep thinking about it while I focus my energy somewhere else. For starters, maybe doing the hand properly instead of just trying to freehand it. Because who do you think you are, girl? Who the frick do you think you are? You're not, you're not that good. <laughs> you need to build a structure before drawing the hand. Who do you think you are, a professional? <laughs> That's not translating as well as I wish it was translating on the microphone. I want most of the hand to be the profile of the hand with the finger kind of bent, I guess. I guess this is This is the hand base I can draw, and the fingers are way too long, for sure, for sure. And they're also pretty bad looking, but we get the idea, we get the idea. And as always, we can fix it later, we can just fix it later, we can just fix it later, no! We can't! We're fixing it now! <laughs> Cause I... 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. I mean, the, the motto the motto in this here channel is we can fix it later. Don't get me wrong. We can fix it later. But at the same time, I kinda wanna fix it now. I kinda want to get it done now. as much as possible and that's that's a bit better that's good enough that I can leave it there and say eh I'll fix it later yeah that, that, that's good enough it's still not good but I can fix it later um maybe some horror ish details yes I don't I don't I don't I don't know I don't know much about horror here's the thing why is my face looking like that didn't my face look like that the entire time? What is going on? Anyways, um, my problem with horror is that I don't tolerate horror, so I don't have experience with the tropes. Uh, but... Hello, Reptile! Hi, how are you doing? You will be the reason I failed this class. Also, we are going over stuff already now. <laughs> don't scare me like that, man. Don't scare me like that, Mark! Tsk tsk tsk. Look at you scaring me for no reason. I thought the motto was facing three streams, <laughs> three streams down the road. Well, maybe. Maybe. The fall look, yeah, it freaks out a bit. I don't know why. I don't know why. Is it because I'm looking down too much? No. Oh, it's because I'm leaning forward to be closer to the stream too much. To the, to the screen. I should stop doing that, it's not good for you. All right, so some horror details, some horror details. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking and the, and the thinking is failing. The thinking is failing pretty hard. I was thinking maybe fingerless gloves because they're edgy. I was thinking, oh, we could add Bikes, but it's that demonic. It is not. We could add chains. The chains with which a demon drags you to perdition. Is that a word? Is that a word? Is that a word at all? I'm gonna start separating the layers because you know me. I'm none. Come it out with a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna separate the hair, have it on a different layer. 
because I want to be able to switch it out if I decide to try new stuff. All right, that's the hair. That's the short hair. To make sure that we're not doing exactly the same hair that we had on the other. Uh, yeah, that is framing hair with a straight bang. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. So instead, we're gonna do... <laughs> Loading. Um, instead, we're gonna do... One sided thing. Oh, but that would expose the ear, and then I will have to make the choice. Do I want her to have two ears? I mean, two sets of ears? Or do I want her to have one set of ears? The bare ones. That. Tradition is a word, but I don't really. But I don't recall what it means. Word tradition seems very hellish to me. So. We're gonna do... We're gonna do... Oh, yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do one strong middle hair and framing hair from very early on in the middle. So that way we can make sure to hide the the ears that are not there because they are not there i do not like double set of ears as a rule as a general rule and then we're gonna make it a little bit spiky to go with the with the bottom Of course, it does need to be a little bit bigger than the cranium because otherwise, what are you doing? Like, what, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing, really? Which means this is all bad, but it's fixable. It's very easy to fix. There. So, uh, I think we, I think we could go for something like this for the hair. I think it's not a bad choice. Uh, Setsuna! You were already here! Why did I say it so excitedly? <laughs> uh, spikes and chains equals, equals Ghost Rider? Well, is that good? Is that a good thing? Are we feeling like that's a good thing? You know what I could do, but it's so cliche I really don't want to? I could give her an eye patch. Because that is like, ooh, danger. Oh, you know what I could do? Though, what really contrasts with everything? A really badly scarred eye. Like, completely unusable eye. For that, I should probably do a different layer. For that, I really should do a different layer. So that I don't risk anything else. Let's come in, focus in the face, and do a layer for the face. I can give her... He's literally a demon? Good. First of all, we're gonna give her a, a smile that is a little bit too big. Like, why are you smiling? Why are you smiling that wide? That doesn't seem right, you know? Like, that's... It's pretty demonic. A smile that is too, too long for the face. We're gonna do one eye. Okay, with that smile, I feel like we're already kind of selling the demonic thing. <laughs> I feel like that's already pretty, pretty demonic just because of the expression. And then the other one is going to be permanently closed. Permanently lost. Permanently... Why is it so hard to draw the second eye? Permanently, I'm gonna flip this canvas and it's gonna suck. Permanently horrible. Alright. Okay. 
Can we do looking straight at ya? Looking straight at ya with a pupil that's a little bit too small. Just small enough to be threatening. Like that. Maybe we can sell the demonic just just from the expressions, you guys. Maybe we can. That's a good idea, kind of like a teddy bear missing an eye. Oh, yes! Uh, the bear ears can be accessories or a hair bun, but it looks like very... No, we cannot do a hair bun! Because that is what I did for this design! <laughs> We're trying to make sure that we absolutely not go the same route. So, no hair bun! <laughs> Uh, he's literally a demon good. Looked it up and it does mean hell. Nice. English plus one. I was thinking butt and eye or something. Butt and eye could be good. Um, but we're gonna try the scar because that could make it a little bit more graphic and therefore a little bit more like... Into the spooky territory. I, I'm not good at drawing scars. Never, never have before. But it doesn't mean that I don't want to. It could be a triple scar, like she got in a in a hassle with a different, like a claw scar, like she got in a hassle with a different bear, or even that she got cursed by a bear. Like, oh, I forgot to flip the canvas to see if the eye was okay. It's probably not. Let's pray. I'm not that mad about the eye that is closed. I'm not that mad. I think it's salvageable. I think it's salvageable. I've set my piece. I've set my piece. I find it salvageable. Let's make sure that this, as, as unnaturally long as it is, let's make sure it at least makes kind of sense. it I'm not that mad at it uh, but an eyes and a human could be spooky it is have you seen Coraline <laughs> my class is done and I did not fail well that's that's a good that's good that's a good snake shifter you're never supposed to fail a class just because I'm streaming so good uh, that's actually a pretty good idea for the teddy what is the, the button? Do you, do you guys want me to try the button? I can try the button as well. I can try the button. Also, I'm definitely liking the idea of chains. So, how about a chain? How about a chain? As a belt? And I kind of did this on the last on the last uh, design that we did here live, but I really really like doing it, so I'm gonna do it again. A chain, the chain tied to her own. Huh? Wait a second. The chain tying her like she's dangerous? But why would it be tied to herself? That makes no sense. It makes no sense if I made them this long. But if I actually made them a bit smaller, it does read as restraint. It gives her an air of danger, I guess. Maybe? Does it? <laughs> this is my brain working at full capacity, you guys. This is my brain going like, we gotta, we gotta get something interesting. We gotta get something in. Yomi's watching. We gotta get something interesting. <laughs> the perspective on the ears is a little weird. Yes, it is, but we're gonna fix it later. 
Um, I think my design is getting closer to wretched rather than demonic. I cannot wait. Do show it to me later. Do post it in the Discord later if you feel like it. And if not, at least through DMs. I'm really curious. I'm really curious and I would really like to see that. Um, that would mean that we could give her... That would mean that we could give her something, something crossed, some design that goes cross shoulder here, because it reads as more restrainy. That's that's the perspective is bad, but we we're gonna fix it later. <laughs> this is just me just throwing things at a wall and seeing what sticks. Leo, hello, welcome! Leo, hello, welcome! How are you doing? Welcome! Um, but then... If we're, go if we're gonna have restraints as one of the... As one of the concepts, then it should really... It should really carry over to... Every extremity, including this one. Including the... The neck. All right, we're going to start deleting some stuff so I can clean it up and make it all make it um, make everything a little bit more clear. We need a little bit of clarity. I filled it up with too many sketchy lines, and I know that I understand what I'm doing, but the point is that everyone else should also be understanding what I'm doing. Every, everyone else should be watching and being, ah, yes, I get what she's doing. If you can't, then, you know, I'm doing something very wrong. Right now it feels like I'm doing something very wrong, but I can fix it later. Slogan. Right, let's, uh, let's clean the body up a little bit. Let's clean the body up a little bit. We don't need all of this. We we don't need all of the building blocks anymore. Actually, we kind of do. That shoulder is way too wide. That shoulder is way too wide. I think I need to flip the canvas and be horrified at my own at my own creation. I need I need the the canvas flip to shame me into doing art good. Into doing good good better. Good good better. That's a phrase. Hello Alicia, I'm new here watching how you draw lines. Hello Leo or Leo. Hello. Uh, welcome. What we're doing right now is a character design based on some a random uh, things plus objectives. We had demonic teddy and sassy soap, and uh, we voted through a poll, and we went with demonic teddy. So that's that's what we're doing right now, and I'm I'm actually really enjoying this. Remember how I told you like demonic te teddy is like the easy way out, but also it sounds like a lot of fun. I am having a lot of fun actually. This is actually kind of really fun for me. Ah! I went too close to the screen. Uh, whenever I go too close to the screen, and to the monitor rather, and my face goes like bleh, do, free to, do feel free to tell me. Do feel free to tell me that I'm, uh, that I'm looking like I'm bored with existence. <laughs> Where did I put that? Oh, I guess it's, uh, here. Yeah, it's there. It's alright. You know what? Do we want to feel... Do we want to try a different, um... Kind of hair? Or do we feel like this hair works? What are we feeling, my snake shifters? What are we feeling about this? Also, do I want more scarring? So they, uh, I have to, I have to shame myself with the, with the canvas flip, actually. Yep, that shoulder is a mess. That shoulder is not good at all.
That shoulder is... Buckly. It's gonna be better. A little bit better. Please tell me I did it in the right lane. Yes, I did it in the right lane. Oh boy. Hair is fun, I think. It's good enough. I really like how smooth the lines and shapes looks in your style. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you! Your 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 lines look amazing. Your lines look great. Now the other shoulder looks bad. Now the other shoulder is bad. Do I have the patience to redraw it? Or do I just Use the transform tool. And the answer is ding ding ding. No. No. I'm not convinced. Unless. Unless I'm putting it in exactly the same place it was before. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Um. I gotta go for now, have fun! Goodbye, Yomi! Thank you for stopping by! I'll see you later! You won't see me, but I will see you later! <laughs> Goodbye! Atsu Atsushi Hoshi Kun! Welcome! Hello! How are you doing? Uh, by Ted, I mean Yomi! <laughs> by Mio! By Eduardo! <laughs> by Ted! Uh, we we could we could spend 15 minutes saying goodbye to Yomi in in any and all surnames that we feel like. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna struggle. I'm gonna struggle with the shoulder. I'm gonna struggle with that shoulder, and then we're gonna stop caring about it too much because come on, come on, come on. I stole donut? That doesn't sound good. Don't do illegal stuff! I'm not a cop, by the way. <laughs> Alright. What are we feeling is missing? What are we feeling is missing? Well, for starters, I was cleaning the body. We're going to keep doing so. We're going to make sure that the body has as little as little uh, dirt as possible. How are we doing on time? Five? Sorry, that means nothing for a lot of you. It's barely been an hour! That's great, because we have a quite, quite a solid direction one hour in. Like, that's a quite a solid direction. And this is one just like the first the first ever design that I feel like I'm gonna do several colors for. I feel like that's the way I'm gonna go for it. Um, the clothes have quite a little bit of like dirtiness. Yeah, the chain is there. Bad bad move on my side. Very bad move on my side. Um, but how are we feeling about this concept? As a concept, uh, 5 p.m. in Argentina, it is 5 p.m. in Argentina. Board clips, welcome. Hello, how are you doing? Um, how are how you been? Uh, why why is it bad to steal donuts? Well, it's just bad to steal in general, you know. It's illegal and also morally bad. Like there are things that are illegal that are not morally bad, but there are things. That are illegal and they are morally bad as well. So stealing's definitely one of them, I would say. Uh, the arms need work. I also feel like they need to be shorter. It needs to be a little bit like that. It needs to be a bit rounder. Um, just.
close too much to the other one. The other one is a bit rounder than this one. This one came out very angular. And since this is a teddy bear, I think roundness is better. Roundness is better for a teddy. Teddy bears are round and soft and blah, blah, blah. I love teddy bears so much. By the way, I, I, I remember the, the first time that I was coming to terms with you can't keep all of your teddy bears forever. Um, that was like a major point of contention. Is that what I'm trying to say? Well, regardless, the point is I still have all of my plushies except the very few ones and I foresee buying even more plushies in the future. So age limits can suck it. Age limits? What is an age limit for plushies? That's a myth. That's a mean, a mean myth perpetuated by, I don't know, fashion magazines? Who, who wants to? Furniture magazines! Whoever wants me to buy more adult stuff, God damn it, my face was wonky again. Um, I'm good, how are you? I'm great. Uh, 5 a.m. in Tokyo? Are you in Tokyo? What are you doing here? <laughs> if, if it's 5 a.m. in Tokyo, what are you doing here? You should sleep. Ellie, I need to go take some batting practice right now, so I'll just leave right now. Have a good rest of your day. Same cookies, que tenga buena suerte uh, con el baseball. Uh, good luck, good, good luck. 9 p.m. in Italy. Oh no, MN, you're Italian? Oh god, I'm gonna start hard sweating. Oh god, the first Duolingo stream that I have planned, I have planned to do Italian. And now I know that you're Italian. This is, oh, it's, oh god, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Poor clips, I'm great. 4 p.m. in East Burgerland. 3 p.m. in Cowboy Land. <laughs> 9 p.m. here. Well, we have quite uh, quite a range of time schedules. We have quite a range. We're gonna clean this as well. Because we're feeling good about the... No, my teddy bear ear. Um, we're feeling quite good with the... With the hair idea, so cleaning these lines is fine by now. All right. I am now at, now at a point in which I really want to dedicate myself to cleaning lines, but I know if I do, I won't finish the design, which is like what I'm supposed to be doing. I think I messed up the face by trying to clean it, by the way. I think it was better when it was rounder. Yes, okay. Um, age limit, death, I guess. Exactly, Miguel, exactly. Um, does the character already have a name? No. Do you guys want to put, to, to put a name to it? Do you guys want to give her a name? I'm going to say something, something with K feels right. Something with K feels right for some reason? Is it because of the whole Karen meme? I don't think so. But it feels right. Is it because kill? Is it because of the word kill that I feel something with K would fit her? Am I being a coward and just uh, cleaning up lines instead of continuing with the design of the clothes? Maybe. Who are you to say? Who am I to say? I know, I know I'm being a coward. <laughs> I'm being kind of a coward, but uh, there was a lot of, there was a lot of grit. There was a lot of like, Annoying, annoying uh, dirt in the drawing. I think now that we can all see the same thing, we can all move on to the next bit. Uh, for example, we're gonna 
grab the ears this ear make it better that was very off I think uh, I think now it still looks bad but I think if I make this one smaller I think maybe that's better still kind of weird but better still kind of weird but better Eclastica alright so some of the names people Kodiak <laughs> So some of the names people are suggesting include Kodiak Which makes me think of Kodak Capture the moment So maybe not Still awake, I need to report my activity form thingy Okay, I hope that you can finish it quickly uh, I hope that you can be done soon and get the sweet sweet relief of bed um, I'll think of something when the drawing has color. It's gonna have different colors. It's gonna have a different, a kind, a couple of different color schemes. Eclastica. Eclastica. That's something. Cara. And Core. And Kami. And Katie Kodiak? Katie Kodiak. Now it doesn't sound like Kodak at least. That's good. And Kei-chan. That's generic. And then Pharaonic, hello, welcome. I don't know what language that is. So I don't know if you're suggesting that as a name or if you're saying hello because I haven't seen you here before. Uh, let's tackle the clouds. Fine, I'll tackle the clothes. I'll tackle them. Um, does anyone have anything else that they want me to try other than the whole Lolita silhouette? Because so far, I think I'm liking the idea of the Lolita silhouette. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm liking the idea of doing the ruffles and the bows and everything. I think I'm gonna have a couple of different um, concepts going for the Lolita dress. One of them is going to be like super childish, right? Like bows, bows and, and, and hearts and butterflies and ruffles and adorable little girl. I um definitely a teddy bear and not a murderer please ignore the chains they are not here to restrict my movement and make it safer for you child what are you talking about uh anyways the other concept is going to be um more floopy like a bit more There we go, okay. Um, the other concept... Hmm, maybe I need to tie it down to this. Maybe it needs to... That could be the pockets. We could have... We could have two pockets. In the sides. That are... Closed. Because otherwise, dangerous stuff goes into them. We could even have pockets that are dripping with some... Ahem... <clears throat> substance. Mystery substance that is definitely not... Important body fluids that you need to keep... stay alive. Um, oh, okay, it was, it was Cyrillic, as a, it was Cyrillic in general. Uh, being a VTuber from a group is tough, I don't doubt it. But I do hope that you can, I do hope that you can get some sleep. I do hope that you can get some rest. 
because it's important to keep yourself <laughs> healthy. It's important to keep yourself uh, healthy. If you're not healthy and you're not sleeping and eating properly, then you're not going to be able to perform at your best. So, you know, it's important to get some rest. Um, I don't know why I find it funny that the name could be Ricardo. <laughs> uh, it could be Rica. Ricardo is a male name. <laughs> but it could be Rica, just like this, with a bunch of K's, because I like the sound of K with this. Um, I'm gonna do the chains a little bit better. I'm gonna do the chains a little bit better because I feel like that is a that is an idea that is pretty stuck in my brain and I pretty much know that I want to use it so the sooner I get it properly drawn the better oh, drawing chains is hard though Drawing cha chains is very methodic. Or I could... I think I might have... Actually, wait a second. Wait a second. I might have a brush for that. Just to cheat it in for now. And then I can make it better. Do I have... Chains. Do I have chains? 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 Do I have... Chains! Chains! Yes! Yes! Alright! Uh, he says you have a nice voice! Thank you, Pharaonic! Thank you! Uh, I'm so bad, but I don't speak Russian, can't even read Seraph. Uh, Ricarda then? I think I like Rika more. <laughs> oh, that's way too little. That is still too little. That's a good size. That's a good size. But it's, uh, it's... We have some size chittering? Why do we have some size chittering? We shouldn't have some size difference. Nope. The spacing definitely needs to stay at the top. Oh, it's because of my... Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Size jitter, no. Angle jitter, no. Definitely not. This is not working that well for me. Hmm. Oh, it's because of the side. Got it. Got it. It's still not looking great. Why are you not looking great? Do you only work on straight lines or straight-ish lines? looks good but I guess that was the if this one is too big a curve I guess I'm trying to curve it a little bit too much and it's getting wonky well it's all right I can fix it later this is just a base this is just like a base and I'll do it manually later it's just to help me get an idea but it's taking me way too long anyways. Yeah, but it can still work. I can still... I can still work it later. Um... Retouch, how did this happen? How did what happen? Hello! I can't... I cannot read Cyrillic. I'm very sorry for that. Well, then I'll be off. Then I'll give you a follow. Don't mind me following. Official one. I hope you have a good rest. I hope you have a good sleep. And I hope uh, your next form feeling goes better. <laughs> Pulling on the slot and influences. Oh, how you can read Cyrillic. But damn it, I changed the size. I shouldn't have changed the size. Yeesh. All right. There we go. Except I'm a fool and I should have cleaned the layer before doing all of that. I'm smart. I am the smartest. 
I am so smart. Oh my god. I really don't keep track of what I have in each layer, do I? I really don't keep track of what I'm erasing before I am, huh? The design looks great so far. Thank you! Aparece el esqueleto. Bienvenido, Duke! Welcome, Duke! How are you doing? Um... Poland will be part of Russia soon. Please don't. Please don't talk about heavy topics like that. We are here to have a good time and an escape. Not to talk about political, geopolitical conflicts. Um, we'll see about that. Keep policies and current world events off the stream, though. Yes, uh, please. <laughs> please keep that stuff off the stream. This is a, a space to escape and have a good time. Uh, policies are boring. Howdy, howdy! Doing good! Only good thing about daylight savings is I can make the streams more often! Hey! And it's gonna be permanent! Soon-ish, in like two years. But but it's, it's, it's gonna happen apparently, huh? Uh, also, you weren't here at the beginning of the stream, but I was talking about how uh, Abby's birthday is coming up, so I, I drew her a little thing. I drew her a little thing, I didn't have a lot of time, so I did the best I could, but uh, I submitted the form. I hope I did it right. Can I can I DM you about it later to see if I did it right? Actually, <laughs> actually that would be that would be good uh, because I I may have a question or two. <laughs> and I know I know it said like contact mods if you have any questions, but I'm shy and I didn't want to bother anyone. All right. So I'm asking for permission to contact first. <laughs> Ellie's so smart, she has three wrinkles. Do I? Do I? Do I really? Do I have any wrinkles at all? That's that's that sounds like like good wish. I don't know what I was trying to say. Something something wish something. Thought. Well, one day I'll remember. One day I'll remember. When it's no longer useful, my brain is gonna be like, hey, this is the word you wanted to use. And I'm gonna be like, thanks, it's been four days. Wishful thinking! There we go. Thank you, brain. <laughs> Thank you, brain, for nothing. All right. Um. Apple trees and pear trees went into blooming. Why are you? Is that a song? I don't know what you're doing. Yes, it's so cute. The mods are going through it all right now. Ellie Law, I literally am able to be pinged at any time. Yes, I know, but I want to ask for permission before then. Because, 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 because I'm, I'm very not good with the whole socializing thing. And I get very shy about everything. All right, remember how I was doing good 20 minutes ago with the time and then I started just uh, not advancing at all because I got decision paralysis over all of the choices that I could make here? I could make so many choices! And, uh, and I'm, I'm paralyzed. Um, kind of paralyzed with the amount of choice that I have right now. We have... The chains, which are good. I like the chains. I like the chains as part of the concept. I'm going to fix them off stream to make them like manual instead of a brush because the brush... Eh, it's good to get an idea of where they should be, but they're not like super cute. Like it doesn't look the best it could. Mm -hmm. 
but I can I can very quickly draw to um yeah pharaonic I don't know what song you're singing but it looks am I interesting you are uh, you're doing stuff that I don't understand and it looks kind of spammy uh, I'm confused about what he's saying. It looks interesting though. It sounds like a folkloric song or s a song of some sort God, why can I not get this right? I guess that's fine. I guess, I guess that's not bad I guess that's good. I guess that's okay. Now we delete it from the body at the very least because we know that that wouldn't have any of that. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Do I want to... Oh, right. I also have to do this. With the chains. Yeah, that's... That's alright. That's alright. That's okay. There we go. Okay. That's alright. Um, now, do we like the crosses? Do we like the idea of X's, of crossing stuff out? Or do we like the idea of patches, like mangled, mangled patchy stuff? Do we like the idea of a straight up bell bottom? Or do we like the idea of it all being ruffles? You know that I don't like that idea because that means I have to draw all of those ruffles but it could look cute it could look very cute so I'm doing the big oversized pockets that are definitely not dripping with liquid especially not if that liquid is a very 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 basic fluid that should stay inside of the body for the body to survive um, but I feel like that would make it kind of Tiny but a little bit boring. But I am liking the idea of the of the Lolita, so I'm gonna keep that for sure. For sure I'm gonna keep the Lolita silhouette. Now the question is, do I keep it like that? Or Do I do this? Oh my god, I didn't... I didn't delete the stuff that was under that! Oh, sorry for... Sorry. Stop doing that. Just because I do it in real life, it doesn't mean that I should do it on stream. Going hyper... Going hyper pterodactyl. Maybe fun when I'm just talking to myself or when I'm talking to my friends. You know when it's not fun? When I have a mic that I'm picking constantly. Or maybe not. Maybe it's not really that bad because I have a limiter. And maybe the limiter is working for me. I'm not sure. I would really, really rather not kill anyone's ears. Uh, this is another option. Something with like layers and layers of ruffles that are still not very clean. I know, I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, that's on a different layer. That's on a different layer. That's why I'm not being able to delete it. That's not smart of me. That is very not smart of me. Now that might be better. Do you guys understand where the ruffles are? Or do I need to clean it even more? I could clean it more. 
and I can clean it easier now that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> now that I have that experience. gotten a little bit better with drawing ruffles I still don't enjoy it I still really don't enjoy it but I think I've gotten a tiny little bit better in not suffering so so much when I have to draw ruffles except maybe for this one um Oh boy! Don't go too much off topic. Yes, was it a song? It was a song! Drawing and instantly erasing the line because it's not perfect. I feel identified with that. Yes! Um, it's a song, I see, that's nice. Bell Bottoms. Gothic with Lita could be a good concept. It could be. Adding a bit of Gothic is a good idea. It's cute, don't stop. Not kill, only bless. I, for one, like Ellie blasting my eardrums with random noises. Okay, okay, it's just that I, sometimes I go a bit too high, and I'm aware of that, but because uh, in real life I push it. Like, when when I mess up, or when, I, when I'm feeling like that, like, even if I'm talking to myself, or if I'm talking to friends, or m more funnily, when I'm with my dog, <laughs> I'll just go as supersonic as I can. Um, too late. I don't think my health insurance covers injury due to me too many. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. If your eardrums have been affected by this VTuber, she apologizes, but she cannot compensate you. <laughs> she promises to do better, but she, she can't compensate you for sure. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So this is this is the other option. We go like super mega freely with everything. Now I'm gonna work a little bit on the things that we do know we're gonna have no matter what. That is this. We're gonna have manacles. We're gonna have restraints. We could go closer and draw them better. Clean everything up a little bit. Including the body. Why not? The body is not even necessary anymore. If, we're, if we know we're gonna go for a... For a Lolita kind of silhouette. So it doesn't really matter. But I do like having my bases clean. Because uh, it allows me to play with clothes if I think of something else afterwards. It allows me to play with even more clothes, so I would prefer that. I'm gonna have to get a couple of references if I want to go Gothic Lolita, because I, I don't fully remember the distinctions. There are so many different Lolita kinds, types out there, um, and I never fully get them clean in my head. At one point I wanted to draw like a full collection of Lolita dresses just so that I could get them straight in my head. I wanted to grab every single subcategory of Lolita and be like, okay, just so that I properly understand them, I'm gonna draw a whole collection of Lolita dresses. And uh, then I never did that. And you know what? I'm glad because who has the time? It's not like making Lolita dresses is my career, so... It's fine, you know, it's just, it's fine if I don't remember them that well. I don't need to. I don't need to. We're gonna also delete this, so it's cleaner. The hell is still not that bad. 
It does need claws, though. It does need claws. Because what is the point if there aren't at least some... If there aren't at least some claws, what is the point on having a character that is supposed to look dangerous? Like, there need to be pointy bits everywhere. There need to be pointy bits here, actually. I didn't leave enough space for them. And I also would have to really study the perspective of them. So later. Latest! No such thing as too high, Ellie! <laughs> Turn off the limiter! Uh, I don't want to. Some of them are 9,000. There's nothing particularly demonic about this cha character. Demon tail or wings? Demon tail or wings it is! Actually, we could go for both. We could go for both. We could have demon tails and wings. What is that? What is all that? We're gonna go, we're gonna go with demon wings and tail. Also, let me just clean the hair a little bit. All right, okay. I'm gonna leave that one on. Why not? This one has nothing. That's what I was going to do. The wings! We're going to do... Some demon wings, which are not that easy to draw without a reference. Actually. But we have we have a decent skeleton, I feel I, I feel like. We are going to make sure that it's it's all very pointy. Because if it isn't pointy, it's not threatening enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's better. Actually, we need to make it like bony. I don't know how to make it look bony, but I, I, I want to. I want it to look angular and uncomfortable to grab. Mm, but I think it needs to have sharp edges there. Demon tail or wings, there's nothing particularly demonic. Some of them are 9,000 years old. Yes, okay. Okay. We are good on chat. So we can focus on these wings for a little bit. We can focus on giving her wings and a tail. But do I give her a tail? Because it's already pretty heavy towards the bottom with all the chains and stuff. We could give her a little horns. Tiny little horns. I just don't want her to be too busy. You know, like the design, if I keep giving her things on the bottom between the, the bear legs and the chains it could end up being a little bit 
two bottom heavy. I'm really liking this character though. I am really liking this character. Out of all the character designs that we've done uh, so far, I think this one is the one that I'm the happiest with. Because um, I also liked one of the three that I did with the headphones concept. But I feel like I, I want to, if I keep developing that one, it's going to be in an entirely different direction than whatever I did on stream. All right. That's not looking bad. That's not looking bad. Um, just the wings is okay. I think so. I think just the wings is going to have to do. Because if I add the tail, it's going to be a little bit too bottom heavy. And you, you guys know, based on how I talk about some certain designs and certain elements of designs, I'm all about like having a good balanced silhouette, a good structure. Oh boy. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm liking this. Oh, I'm liking this. Oh, I'm liking this! Uh, right, so we have, we even have lore. I, the, I'm not sure we have lore, I'm not sure we're all on the same page on that But I think, I really do think That she was a child And she got attacked And that scar is like a curse And uh, or she was a teddy bear of a child And then she, oh Oh maybe she was a teddy bear and when the teddy bear got possessed it consumed the child and that's why she has like a childlike body because it's the vessel of the child that used to play with the teddy bear that then got consumed ah maybe 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 tails are cool though the rag welcome hello tails are cool it's just that it will make the the drawing a bit too bottom heavy uh let's hope and pray that just mirroring this is enough and that i don't have to change the proportions too much uh because i would really not i would really not like to have to spend that much time on that <laughs> all right let me pull up a gothic lolita reference gothic What's going on here? Hello! Hi! Uh, you don't have to put the towel below. You could have it wrapping around her forearm. The towel? What's what's the towel? Uh, what's going on here? Hello, Rapture, and how are you doing? What's going on here is we are doing a character design based on the concept of um based on the concept of demonic teddy bear demonic teddy bear is a concept all right all right from what i'm seeing what it really needs to read as the leader is um ruffled okay yeah, yeah, yeah from what i'm seeing and i'm not gonna pull the references up to the screen because i'm seeing several different references and it, it, they're very contradictory, but there are some that are caught calling to me a lot more than others. So I'm going to use those. Um, the concept was demonic teddy bear. And so far with that concept, we've done this. Yeah, this one is way too much like a pop star. So I think this one is going. I, I'm not liking that one too much. But... What I'm seeing online is still the the little bell shape. Which by the way, it's really one of my favorite shapes to work uh, into skirts. I, just, I really like it when you have like a really, really cute semicircle. Why am I... Why am I wanting to give her a citrus design as well? That has nothing to do with anything! Uh, the tail. Oh! The tail wrapping around the forearm. 
to make it less top he less bottom heavy. Could be, could be. If you can't have horns because it's too top heavy, maybe spiky brazers. I think we can totally add horns here. Look, because we did the, the hair in such a way, we did the hair in such a way that it could actually have little tiny horns here and the hair could wrap up around the horns. Like, you could have little Oni horns. With the hair really like going around, around the horn. to clean this up off stream I'm gonna clean it up off stream um, and then maybe I finish it on discord <laughs> no no because then it wouldn't be archived and it would be nice to archive it we can do we can finish and apply different a, a lot of different color palettes next time I think that would be nice Alright, uh, I'm doing okay, no work today, so just gaming and such. Well, I hope you enjoy your rest. I hope you enjoy your break. I hope you enjoy um, gaming, sleeping. Don't forget to drink water and stretch. Don't forget to take care of your body. Alright, what was I saying about the Lolita? I was saying that what I'm seeing a lot of is this. When it has like this uh, extra layers of fabric that drape a lot that have like a lot of draping and a lot of wrinkles you know you know what i'm talking about even if i'm drawing it quickly and it's not translating super well this is something that i saw on a lot of the lolita uh google searches I'm gonna have to figure out a way to draw it properly, but I hope it. I hope you guys understand what I mean. What I mean with this. There's a name for it, but I don't recall what it is. Ghost lolly demonic teddy bear. Sounds like your average VTuber design, <laughs> doesn't it? However, I don't know if I've seen any. I don't know if I've seen any. But I guess this could become a, a, a VTuber design, huh? I guess I could at some point try and sell it as a VTuber design? I don't know. If we like where we get. If we like where we get with it. Um, looks too tall to be a lowly. I mean, the thing, Loli means, in, as far as character design goes, it means that it's a child archetype. Like the character design archetype chosen for the character is child. So, that's where L Lolita comes from. No, actually, that's the, op is the opposite direction. Loli referring to a child is probably from Lolita the book. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Now I want to investigate that. But it sounds like it should be that way, right? That skirt is wrong. That skirt is wrong. But we're gonna cheaply try to fix it. Because I really don't feel like fixing it manually uh, 
Hopefully that's better. Ah, uh, that's better. That's better. I'm not gonna say it's good, but I am gonna say it's better. I'm gonna say it's, it's, it's better. It's better for sure. Um, you can also say it's an adoptable if you want. I would, first we got, first we have to t take it to a place where it actually looks good. First we have to take it to a place where we actually like what we're seeing. Another thing that I saw a lot in Lolita designs is a bunch of laid down ruffles. So like like pretty non-flowy just like here ish you know staying on their lane kind of ruffles so that's another thing that i would say is lolita based on based on my google search Like this? Is it okay? Is it good? Are we feeling it? Are we feeling are we feeling this? It's like the gothic Lolita te teddy bear. I actually I don't know if I'm committed to the gothic Lolita teddy bear. But I mean it's happening. It for sure is happening. <laughs> It is a, a thing. I guess I'm gonna have enough time to rethink it. To really think if I like it or not. To really think if I feel it or not. But before the stream, I at least want to try... Before the stream ends, I at least want to try and give her that tail. To see if I can work it. To see if I can work it, uh... All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, okay. The decision paralysis caught me hard on this one, but that is another Lolita thing, a gothic Lolita thing. Uh, I think it's kind of straying away from both teddy bear and the money. Gothic Lolita is more doll-like. Yes, it's named for the book. You can... I, I do think gothic Lolita is an entire concept on its own, but you know, if if we wanted to, there is that. Oh. idea but do I like it do I like the idea do I like the idea or do I not like the idea I'm gonna try the idea I'm gonna try the idea I'm gonna try it on this other skirt because I do feel like the gothic, gothic Lolita might be a little bit much we're gonna try it on this one we're gonna try this first of all I should have Something that actually draws. We're gonna try... Like... I don't know how the influence would be called, but you know when... Uh, I, I think of it and I think of like toy soldiers. You know when they have a button on one side and then something else on the other? Or is it another button? 
Is it another button? Is it marching band kind of like? I don't know. I don't know how to call that influence, but I know exactly what I'm imagining. So I hope it's understandable. And yes, granted, that would put a lot of details into the same space. Because then the chain goes on top of it. And I'm not done. Because what I was really truly thinking was that maybe... To add more to the idea of it being restrained... We still do a little bit of an X. But it's a... It's an X across the shoulders. Like this. And that allows me to make this also kind of like ribbony. Uh, I don't want to. Do I want to? Yes! Yes, I do. It allows me to do this into like a ribbon patched up. Design. And maybe I add more detailing here at the bottom because it's looking kind of kind of dull granted it doesn't have any colors but I think it's gonna look better with colors and a couple of ribbons going through it like so I think I'm liking that uh too late to go back now? No, I mean, it's still there. It's still here. If I want to take it. But I am feeling... I am kind of feeling this now. <laughs> Not Crocker? Maybe. Maybe. Well, yeah, it's gonna lead. Don't worry. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, no. Who disappeared? What? Who? What? Who? What? Who? What happened? How? Oh, you know what? This could be buttons. This could be explicitly buttons. And then this. this pockets get to have a button tie-in and I think I like this I think I like this idea I think I finally feel like uh, like it's getting a little bit more tied together excuse the pun excuse the pun but I feel like that ties it all together a little bit more and it allows me to do, also, some ribbons in one of the legs for that asymmetric look, which is so nice in character designs. I think that could be nice. I think that could be nice. Try a tail. Let me let me just try a tail real quickly. To see if it's way too busy or not. Mm, I 
maybe on the other side. Maybe on the other side. Maybe here. Is that too busy? Does that make the design a bit too busy? Maybe we don't need the ribbon, actually. The the, the bow at the in the back. We we definitely don't need the bow. The bow is completely unnecessary. And that allows us to clean the the to do the tail a bit higher. Yeah. I think it's too much. I definitely feel better without the, the bow. I definitely feel better without the bow. But I, I do like this outfit. I do really like this outfit more than the other ones. Also, Ellie, what program are you using? I'm using Psy, Taylor on the leg. I just worry that the it, it definitely doesn't look that good on the top. But I, the worry with the tail around the leg would be that it's too bottom heavy already. There's already so much stuff going on on the, on the bottom. It could work because of the asymmetry of the ribbons on the, on the leg though. Like, it could work. But I think I'll, I'll, give it a, I'll give it a big think. I'll give it a big think before the next character design stream. And the next character design stream will finish. We'll finish this little bear. I don't think I'm changing the outfit from this. I really, really like this. I really like the idea of having buttons and ribbons and all of that stuff that you can realistically find at the at a child's little bedroom chest thingy. Uh, minus one minute. No. Well, we're we're finishing. We're finishing here. We're finishing it here. We have a very solid concept. We have a very solid concept. I think it doesn't need much more. I think it's looking good as it is. Maybe I'll add a little, uh, give it a trident tail tip. Trident. I've never done one of those. Uh, like this? I never done one of those and I don't think it's making it look good. I'm gonna have to research. I'm gonna have to see some references. But I think that the outfit is staying. I think the outfit is staying like this. I think I'm liking it a lot. I'm gonna...
clean it up before the next stream, but on the next stream we're gonna finish it. Because the concept I think is gonna stay, I think this concept, this general concept is gonna stay. I think next time we're just gonna uh, play with color palettes, which is super exciting. And maybe with a couple of hair ideas, cause uh, I'm not, now that I have these clothes, I'm not super feeling what's up here. So that's that's gonna be next stream. Don't feel super weird. Oh, I... oh no! Oh no! I deleted this. Uh, I don't even know when. I mean, I do know when, but I don't know how long ago. So I'm just I'm just gonna manually add it in, add it back in. Um. But yeah, next time we're gonna finish it. I think I really like this concept for the outfit and I don't wanna change it. I think we can definitely still play with the hair, the idea of having horns or not, the tail, we can play around with that. Uh, we can see if we wanna give her little like gloves, fingerless gloves. I don't know if we want to. Uh, where would they reach? How would they stop? Would it be more ribbons? Because that might be way too much. That might be way too much. Probably. Do we want to keep this eye scarred as it is? Or do we want to go with uh, something else? I think I like that though. I think I really like that. Uh, <laughs> it looks good to me until next time, Ricardo. <laughs> That's not a trident? Let me Google something real quick. Which might or might not be trident demon tail. Trident demon. Uh, might or might not be what I'm... What I'm... That? Oh, mm, oh, mm, mm, I see. I see. I see. I see. Like this? Is this what you meant? This is what I'm finding in Google. This is what I'm finding in Google. So I hope it is. I hope it's that. Is that better? Uh, I think I'm basically done too. Nice, we can compare. Not compare because this is no comparison. But we can we can see where your brain went with demonic and where mine went with demonic teddy bear as a concept. Like the nice thing about grabbing a concept and then doing different designs is that you see everyone's brain really does work different, and the influences that everyone has stored in their brains is definitely very different. So it's very interesting to see where everyone goes when they have one concept and they have like different results. I find it incredibly interesting. All right, so this is it for now. I'm really happy with this design. I I stumbled a lot and I flip-flopped a lot, but now that I arrived to this, with the ribbons and the buttons, I actually really, really like it. Um, and I think it is demonic enough. And I think it is teddy bear enough. I really do. Wait, you guys were drawing it too? Retouch was. Retouch, Retouch decided to do it too. So I'm gonna save it right here. I'm gonna save it right here. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna go. And if I'm feeling extra fancy, and if I'm feeling like I have enough time before the next 
stream of this, which I don't know when it's gonna be, probably not next week, but other. If I'm feeling extra fancy, I could do Sassy Soap by myself. I could see where I get with that. But for now, we are uh, going here. Here we are. To wrap up rather quickly, because like we've already been drawing for a bit. That looks so cute, Ellie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I'm actually really happy with where it ended. Not so happy with how hard it was to get there. <laughs> but it did get there eventually. So oh, don't, don't mind my weird facial expression. I'm just putting away the tablet. Because <laughs> I'm not going to keep drawing right away. I'm going to stretch my hands. I'm going to stretch my spine. I'm going to stretch my uh, the fuck it, ears. Um, I'm gonna drink some water, maybe have some merienda. Yeah, for those of you who don't know that, it's like an afternoon snack. One of the four meals of the day. So, uh... Thank you! Thank you! Good night and thanks for the stream. Good night and I hope you have a good rest. Ritish, are we gonna see your peak in Discord? Um, well, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Um, good job on the art today. Thank you, Luna. Thanks for the streams. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Raptoran. Uh, Merienda. That's a Tagalog word, too. You have Merienda. That is so nice. I'll load it in a bit if I get access to the scanner. Uh, I could also... I don't know if I have the name, but there was a very good app I remember reading a while back when I still did most of my drawings on pencil and then moved it to a tablet. Um, but there are a couple of good apps that take a very clean picture of the drawing and then try to separate it on layers, black and white, uh, so that you can have the lines separated from the background. It wasn't a really nice app, I don't remember the name of it, but I could research. This is a stream at least at least something nice today. Oh, that sounds sad. I hope I hope the rest of today is nice as well, Retage. I hope the rest of today goes better than whatever came before. Good night, Ellie. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for coming, Duke. I'm gonna be uh, bothering you in a bit. A tomar el mate con tortilla, pues. Ah, yeah, this is this is the part where my compatriots uh, lynch me, but Darío is not here. I don't drink mate. Dun dun dun, I know. I drink uh, mate cocido, No, I'm gonna make myself one. Now, right now, I'm gonna go make myself a mate cocido with honey. So, goodbye everyone! Thank you for coming. My phone has scanning built in, like the, the scanning that separates the lines from the background. Because I would have died for that years ago. I would have died to get that. Anyways, I need to stop getting distracted. Tomorrow we have more Shantae! More Shantae. Super happy about that. Uh, thank you for coming. I enjoyed a lot. I was a little bit nervous because it's been so long since we've done a character design, but I'm actually really, really happy with what it, we got. And I'm happy that I had you all here. So thank you for coming. I will see you tomorrow. And if I don't see you tomorrow, I hope the rest of your weekend goes great. Don't forget to stretch, drink water, um, eat nutritious foods, sleep seven to nine hours. Uh, I don't know, but it alters the shape of the photo, so it's just a document. Oh, nice. Uh, anyways, don't forget to be kind to yourself and others, all right? That is the most important thing. Take care, snake shifters. I'll see you the next time. Hope you have a great rest of your day.